Hello, welcome to the first lesson of the first module of our course. In this module, we will learn how to analyze and optimize your content. There is no doubt that throughout your career as a content strategist or a content marketer, you've created, reviewed, and edited loads of content. And even if not, you probably know that your ready to be released blog post or article should be consistent to an already existing content strategy. However, instead of relentlessly creating new pieces of content, it often makes more sense to refer to existing materials. In most cases, these existing materials just need to be revamped to become an integral part of your content strategy again. That's where the content audit tool comes into action. It enables you to review the content placed on your website, blog, etc., measuring its effectiveness. By using this tool, you'll be able to define how well your piece of content actually engages readers and interacts with other sites and search engines. With the set of tools internal metrics and the possibility to import metrics from your Google Analytics and Google Search Console accounts, you'll have a clear picture of what your pages should be updated and optimized first. Let's take a closer look at the tool. Once you launch it in the project section, you'll be asked to start a content audit. To do so, you'll need to choose the desired sections of your website, which most commonly would be a blog based on your sitemap file. Depending on the number of pages being tracked, it will take some time for a content audit to gather the data and actually generate a report for you. To unleash the tool's full functionality and be able to see your content performance from different standpoints, connecting your Google account is a must. Google Analytics integration will enable you to see and sort pages by sessions, average page session duration, and even bounce rate. After connecting Google Search Console, you'll be able to see which queries each page is getting traffic from. By knowing the search queries for a specific article or post, you'll be able to gain insight into how your target audience finds the post and what other keywords can be relevant for you to target. All of these metrics put together indicate one simple important thing, whether your audience likes your content or not. Now let's go to the content sets tab, which will become unlocked once you connect your Google Analytics account. There you'll see different groups. The rewrite or remove group shows pages older than 24 months and viewed less than 15 times in the last 30 days. The need to update group consists of pages published more than six months ago and viewed less than 15 times in the last 30 days. Now the quick review group, this stores pages published less than six months ago, but viewed more than 150 times in the last 30 days. And finally, the poor content. This group shows pages less than 200 words long. To help you streamline your work with underperforming pages, the tool offers statuses and tasks that can be assigned to each URL. Just click the Start Analyzing button in any category, and you'll be able to jump to the Workflow section with a preview of one of your pages. Hover over an image, a title, a text, paragraph, or other page element that really needs to be changed or updated, and add a specific task for it like rewrite, delete, or you can even set your own task. You can then add the created task to Trello or your Google Calendar. After you've done this, continue analyzing your other pages one by one, clicking that next URL button. You can divide the pages you are working on by analyze, not analyzed, or in progress. You'll see the changes in your page's metrics values as soon as you alter their statuses. That's because Content Audit automatically saves these metrics to let you track your content improvement progress step by step. Let's sum up. 
The SEMrush content audit is designed to estimate the performance of your text, blog posts, and articles published on your own website. Remember that practice is key to your knowledge, so evaluate your content with this tool. We recommend studying the Read Further section since it contains more info needed to pass the exam. Also, refer to our knowledge base and take a look at our blog to learn more.